hello beautiful people you're welcome back once again so guys today's tutorial is how to cut and sew a scallop bell sleeve if you are interested on how to cut and sew this just keep on watching to the end okay so guys i am making use of my remaining fabric my leftover fabric for our previous class and i have folded this fabric into two it's up to let's just call it two years yes but it's not up to two years the length on fold is 26 okay i folded it into two so i am going to start folding it in a triangular form holding the tip of my fabric this way and i will fold it in a triangular form in angle form this way you can see the way i folded it okay i am trying to get my angle shape I will dress it very well. I will arrange it very well. I folded the fabric into four for the two sleeve. The next step is to place my tap on the upper part to trace out my armhole circumference divided by two. So this is how I'm going to trace it. I'll place the tap this way. Start bringing it down until I get my armhole measurement divided by two. Mine is 8.5. After getting it, I'll use my chalk to mark. After marking it, I'm going to use my ruler to connect. After that, I'm going to place my tap on this marked area on the armhole area to know if i have enough length for the sleeve so this is enough for me i'm going to cut it out and start working on it You can see that the bell sleeve or the L-shaped sleeve is coming out. Next step is to place the tape on the upper area to get the length of the sleeve. I am working with a sleeve length of 16 inches. I'm going to be adding extra 2 inches for it. It's going to be, it's going to be 18 inches. I'll get the 18 inches and I'll mark. I will connect it as if I am cutting out like tracing a peplum. Alright. So I'm going to trace it out. I'm going to connect all the lines. So on the upper area, I'm going to go down with uh, um by four for my cap high. But before that, I'm going to place this step this way to get the midpoint of the sleeve and mark. I will get the midpoint of this sleeve and mark. Then I'm going to place my tape vertically to mark two inches downward. Then bring, put down my cap height, which is four. I will use my French curve to curve it out. I'll curve it like so. Then use my free hand to connect to the cap height. This is it. You can see that our sleeve shape is coming out. So on the on the length of this sleeve, I'm going to go up with 2 inches. 
I am removing that two inches seam allowance for this. I'll be marking it out. Remember I said that the length of the sleeve is 16 inches. So after marking out these two inches, it's going to be 16 inches. I am trying to like um get our scallop. So these two inches will be for our scallop shape. So on these lines that I marked out, I'm going to be marking out one one inch. Like making a dot, like the way you see me marking out, I will mark on the upper area and on the down part one one inch. Like you see me doing. So on the side part of this sleeve, you can see that I did not get to the end. I did not get to the end. I left about two inches for there. That will be for the same allowance. Okay. On the opening area, not the center part of the sleeve. So I'm going to be connecting this, starting from the center area this way. I will connect it in like um, a U shape. I'll connect. I will go up. From there, I'm going to come down again to meet one inch, leaving one inch. I'll go up again, leaving one inch. Like I will mark one, leave the other one, go to the next one, leave the other one, go to the next one. I'll be connecting it up and down, up and down, like you see me doing, okay? So if you watch closely, you will notice that I did not connect all the scallop to all the one, one inch I mark out. I am leaving one inch behind. All right. So I'll continue connecting it to the end. To the place I, I left two inches allowance. You can see the way I'm doing it. So that is it, guys. After that, I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'll cut the armhole area first. And notch the center part. So this is how you're going to be cutting the scallop. You cut gently. Okay. Continue to cut it out gently. So the two inches I added is for this scallop. You can see I did not touch the length of the sleeve. So everything is just perfect. So watch the way I cut here. I did not go to the 2 inches allowance. I will just cut it this way. And it's ready. You can see how beautiful the sleeve is looking. I will open it up for us to see how the inside looks. But before that, I'm going to slit the other end open. So this is just a 2 sleeve. Our 2 sleeve is ready. So this is it. You can see how it looks. I'm going to measure the armhole circumference to know if it's enough for me. And it's enough. I have about 10 inches there. So when you open it up, it's going to be 20. So this is for the two sleeve. You can see it there. So the next step is to cut an interfacing. I'll be using an interfacing for this because I want the scallop mouth to stand. I'm going to place this sleeve to cut an interfacing for it. So this is the light interfacing I'm working with. Alright. I'm going to cut it out. I will be ironing this on the lining. Not on the fabric, please. Then after ironing it on the lining, I'm going to like trim the mouth. 
I will not be trimming the mouth now. I will, after ironing it on the line, and I'm going to trim the mouth. When I'm done that, I'm, I will come back and show us how it looks like. All right. So guys, I'm done ironing it on the lining as you can see. So this lining also has a scallop mouth. I've, I'm done ironing it on the lining. So here is the one I have torn. I have stitched on this one. I'm trying to turn it up. I'm just showing us how it looks like. Okay. You can see it's after stitching. I first of all stitch this. Iron this on the line and then turn it up following the scallop mouth. I, I turn it up following the scallop mouth to stitch. So this is how you are going to do it. You place your lining and your fabric right side facing right side. Right side facing right side. Alright. You make sure that your lining scallop mouth and the fabric is place the same you begin to stitch this way following my hand you stitch it and that is just it after stitching then you use your um scissors to trim the excess off like you see me trimming it up Before you trim this, guys, make sure that you have stitched it on the fabric, please. After trimming this, the next step is to turn it up. I'm going to turn it up. So I'll be using one of my finger to push it up. Yes, I'll be pushing it up this way. So you can use whatever that is very easy for you to, to bring it out. I'll be doing that one by one. Make, making sure that the scallop is out. Alright. When I am done, I'm going to take it to my ironing table and give it a hot press. Give it what a hot press. Please make sure that you iron very well. After ironing, this is going to be looking like very beautiful. Then I'm going to go ahead and shape it. Okay? So guys, this comes to the end of this tutorial. Make sure you notch your center part. Alright? While attaching on your dress or your... And if you have any question for this, don't forget to drop it on the comment section. Alright, thank you very much for watching and see you on the next tutorial. Bye.